T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978 Hasbro went back in time to the first Spider Man movie from in the MCU, that is, Spider Man Homecoming. And they decided to take the Vulture and update him with more movie accurate details. So that's what we're going to be looking at right now. This is my previously reviewed Vulture from. 2016, 2017, whenever that movie came out. And this is the new one that's being available as a standalone figure. It's not constrained by budget. You get to just buy everything all at once. So things it didn't have before because they couldn't afford to put it in the packaging and things they needed to add because it needed to be more accurate to the movie. They, they did that. So let's look at them. Let's start with the things that both of these figures come with, or both things that were assigned to this figure, because, yeah, I'm not sure if Walter actually came with this in his packaging, but here we go. This is a stand for when he has the wings on, and you're just standing him there. It helps him get a little bit more support, like a third leg, we should say. Both of them come with this. Next, they both come with the wing pack right here. Now... Each individual figure that came out in that wave back years ago came with a section like one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then there was a stand. Here is the back right here. They tried to put like a pink gradient right here to let you see that the energy is flowing out right here and it's going down and it's turning a different color. But as you can see, it's just this camouflage stuff right there and this can come out and rotate right there this actually spins inside the wings are capable of moving this way moving up here on that and folding in so you can do some stabbing motion that spider-man here is some more detail right here And pretty much both of them are exactly the same as far as the sculpt and details. Difference is that's a little, that's a lot more bright. This isn't so battle worn. So, yeah, it's a lot brighter. These blades right here are painted blue instead of just plain gray plastic and it's you can see it's painted mostly on the outside and the inside is just regular well, let's see this green is yeah you can see the difference right there this is more dull while the new one is definitely more vibrant everything is more vibrant and it has the same going on right here same stuff now what's new the new figure comes with two of these handheld blasters right here. Let me make sure you can see the detail on there. He holds these in the hand and he has these arm gauntlets that I guess help his arms to be more stable and whatnot. But they're painted right there. Let's just let you see one because they are basically identical. They have the gold on there. They don't have a mechanism to bend. That will be an issue later. But I like that it comes with this. It makes it more accurate. And the first one didn't have any type of weapon. Which we saw he was blasting at Spider-Man in that movie. What I was doing before, if you watch my video again. I was using the gun that came with um, Groot, and, Groot and Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. Actually, you know what? The group... You, you know what I mean. Go watch the video. Now let's get into the actual figure. The heads are... The face sculpts are different. The face... You can see is more... It is more sculpted in detail. It's kind of menacing. You see it has that hose coming from the front to the back this bigger hose just on that one side 
This one had has hoses on both sides and the beak shape is way different and the eyes are bigger. Just the shape in the helmet is different. But since he didn't just look like this in the movie, they did come with they this one does come with this visor that was detached. I guess they wanted to probably make it feel like it came with more stuff. But there you are with that. Taking that off is an option. Maybe Spider-Man knocked it off his face. But let's let you see the suit details. Now this one, I think has a more realistic, more cinematic look to it. Well, this is brighter, so that is a change. But this is probably matching the actual color more than the original one. But let's move this stuff out the way. The body is roughly the same, or mostly the same, to be honest. I know the butts are the same. But everything is looking really similar. The belt. I'm thinking everything from the waist down is mostly, mostly new. The crotch parts and the butt seem to be the same. But this belt is different. The side things are the same. The legs. It has new sculpt on this bottom of the bottom of the well. <laughs> it has new sculpt on the bottom of the legs here, right here. Number one, it's pinless. So there are no pins. And the feet, feet are the same, but the legs are definitely re-sculpted. So they can, can add that extra detail because he was like in a body harness right there to make sure he doesn't damage himself while he's flying around. The arms though are the same. This one on mine, loose. It, which is weird because he was a builder figure, but not really. He himself was just a regular figure. But yeah, let's let you see the range of motion in the the legs right here. We got that going on for him. And in this arm, I can't even really get the legs or the elbows to bend more than ninety degrees. For this one. Mm, it's, it's the same amount to be honest and this leg bends way more than 90 right there feet you get the ankle pivot feet goes forward very stiff goes back the old figure also feels a little bit more gummy in the legs but his feet goes forward back yeah, definitely more gummy. All the hands go in and out like that. And basically to get the arm harnesses on, you have to pop the hand off first, pop the hand back in. Now that completes the whole look right there. Let's even go ahead and attach. The peg is shaped like that. It plug plugs into the lower back, which is different from any figure ever, basically. So it can still do this, but the wings stay in the same place. But here is his complete look. And the backpack is heavy. And what I'm noticing is it is very difficult on both of these to get them standing up without that stand. And you have to be very strategic. But here's what I was talking about, about this arm harness. When you bend the elbow, that happens if this was a movie it would still be up here on, on the arm so that is weird looking and it almost makes him have to keep his arms out at all times which i did want to go into the arms do not crunch into the body any more than that on either figure but yeah the head to remind you the head can Look down, it's very, very stiff. That joint is super stiff. But looking up is very difficult. Let me 
see if that's different for this one. Yeah, the way they sculpted it, he can look up more with this head. But maybe that's because of this hose on the back. Let me keep on trying. Yeah, mess with it, mess with it. That hose stop, stops things. Well, let's let you see the detail on the feathering around his neck. On both of these. Yeah, so it is hard to get this head up so that Oh, one has a one up that you can actually pose a head up higher. Yeah, to let you see how this works, you're supposed to just sit this or groove it in between the little teeth. And now he has like extra support. <laughs> Not too much. Well, let's reverse it this way. So there's that. I mean, it's still like kind of heavy. I would imagine it's supposed to be this way. Marvel Legends never, never have instructions. The only ones that I can think of that had instructions is the, the Sentinel. Let's see if I can get him up in the air. My table is also... Yeah, when I do that, it's still leaning forward, but my room seems to be tilted anyway, so that's not helping. But this stand sucks, let me just say that. I, I never liked the stand. Here they both are. The new one has the advantage of having the new legs that are more accurate, the arm harnesses, arm harness and the gun, and the new helmet and whatnot. And if you like the coloring, you like it, I think the coloring on the older one is probably more realistic looking and less cartoony comic book looking, but they both still look good. This one just has more accessories and more options. Like I said, the neck on that one is a little bit better. Well, yeah. Hmm. Both of them, the wings, I'm not going to lie, the wings feel cheap. <laughs> they went out of their way to make up this build a wing feature and they did not put a lot of money into the wings I, I guess they were trying to make the wings as lightweight as possible so it wouldn't be falling all over the place but using the thinner plastic does make them feel cheap in those turbines in fact one of the turbines on this one fell out in the middle of me messing with it and you might have to worry about the wings falling off and whatnot but overall they represent what they're supposed to represent and you can get some or recreate some good pictures with him fighting spider-man it would have been cool if they would have gave him new feet functionality like so that he can grab things with the claws on his feet like i believe he did do in the movie and if they updated the wings more to be honest that would have been cool too and let me explain a horrible situation i'm in since i'm a reviewer people want to see stuff like this I can't sell that guy until I own this guy, but I'm pretty sure the price has plummeted on the original now that this one's out because it comes with more stuff and more accurate to him. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty screwed on that. Somebody probably wants the original more because it, like I said, the, the color scheme is way better. And in fact, I've seen somebody steal the head off and the wings off of the new one and and leave the rest of the body in the box, which is unfortunate. But if you want these guys, I wouldn't even imagine hunting this one out unless you really love that color scheme because this comes with more. So I would lean towards suggesting that one more. Here's a comparison with the second Build-A-Wing character they made. And I'm gonna have to say that the Vulture's wings are way more substantial than Captain America. So yeah. I, I know this is probably movie accurate, but I feel like they could have, I honestly feel like they could have did more with Captain America, but go to his review if you want to see more about that. Here's a height comparison right there. If they were standing straight up, they'd be slightly a hair taller than my Mezco um, Tom Holland right here. And here are various homecoming Spider-Man figures right there. 
as you can see, I got this one standing straight up. He's more tall than, or he's shorter than the Mezco version right there. So if you like that better, that's why these are all Marvel Legends. But anywho, I already gave my, my final thoughts really earlier. Pay attention. I already did that. So thank you for watching this. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.